You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Sirona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> Our timeline. Was that Lord Gok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sirona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Rookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on. And I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Professor, I'm glad to see you. 
And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. And that you found so I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hackett. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far. But please, maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hecate. So I hear she tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig, I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office, five minutes. man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Seems he's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. <laughs> it's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? 
I'm not sure I follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner, so don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for get- Cast it and- You mean I'll actually be able- Something like that. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. The key. Here it is. Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? Goodness gracious, what a mess! Quiet Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tone by its cover, I say. Ghost, don't let her see you. Should be in the clear now. Skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? Revelio. Who have we here? Sebastian Solo and his new little friend, out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you... I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted 
Peeves! I've got to stop him, or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Repair her. Surprising. Guards at the ready. a book after all.
You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganock. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Uh, yes, you! I wonder if you might... Uh... You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsey Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Wait, how do you know about the book? And that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. 
I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Hmm, a small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. I beg your pardon. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. Now, if you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. A student in the kitchen. What could they want? Found themselves a bit peckish, likely. You know how hungry growing humans can get? Certainly makes Rookie's job easier. <laughs> what do you want? Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. It smells glorious in here. Hmm. Here's some beef, but it's not rotten. I'd best keep looking. Ugh, there's a disgusting smell. I must be getting close. Oh, a student? What a treat! What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely, but what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah, Nick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Finky supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help, and to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. Ah, you're back. No trouble, I take it. Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind elf, Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. Do stay behind me. It's Sir Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. 
How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why, here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sir, you jazz. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut, tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you our entry requirements are quite... Yeah. But, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. Come on, the pump. Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal. But if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvellous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jack Dorier. here, hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still mouldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head, and I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say... Here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first, but Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Just like a Gryffindor to brave the Forbidden Forest in pursuit of adventure. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks, a stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. 
yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? <laughs> Incendio! The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jack Daughter's intramuros. Aren't you a little far <laughs> from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. But, uh... Incendio. Ah, ah, ah. I won't. Ah. Accio. Ah. Expelliarmus. Ah. <coughs> no risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Doris led me. I wonder how big this place is. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. Expelliarmus! Accio! Incendio! Grenade! 
It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. It's almost complete. More spiders. These can't be what the headed rigid jack. These spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way.
must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Here it is, the map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm, is there something beyond this room? Oh no, the room's starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. 
Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens, ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor, so much happened while you were away. Nearly Headless Nick asked me to get some rotten roast beef from the kitchens. Rotten roast beef? Yes, I thought it was odd too. But then we took the roast beef to Sir Podmore of the Headless Hunt and... You met the Headless Hunt? <laughs> That must have been interesting, to say yes. that. Yes. And then I had to find Richard Jackdaw's head in the pumpkins so that he'd tell me about how he died. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Travel is always much more enjoyable with a friend. here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. 
Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful, and do not tell anyone where you're going. <laughs>